Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well and safe. Now I'm in the process of creating a short tutorial on AWS Cloud Financial Management, which is part of your FinOps. As per best of my understanding, FinOps is a combination of finance and DevOps. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. I'll be happy to take those uh, good comments and the bad one as well. So as part of this series, I have already created a video on how to deploy Kudos dashboard, cost intelligence framework as part of my last video where I have discussed a lot of different, you know, concept and the different dashboard what we get as part of an open source framework. Now, in this entire video series, I'll be talking more towards how you can, you know, monitor your costs, what are the tools available by AWS. So, and what are the tools they have given to us in this reinvent, right? That makes our life much more easier as compared to what we have deployed and discussed in my last video. So they had, there are like a lot of uh, good, you know, pointers came out of this reinvent, but the standing part for me on the cost side was new cost and usage dashboard powered by Amazon QuickSight. It's a one click deployment effort. So what, whatever we did as part of my last video, right, where we deployed with the cloud formation, maintain a lot of different services in the backend. Now we are not worried about doing those stuff. You just give QuickSight information, S3 bucket information, and you are done just do a button click, the dashboard will be ready. Obviously it will take some time to show the data, but you don't have to manage the underlying services what we had deployed in my last video. Cost Optimization Hub, I haven't enabled this. So we'll talk about Cost Optimization Hub as well in my next video. Plus extended history with more granular data available with Cost Explorer. So we'll talk about Cost Explorer as well because I haven't talked about Cost Explorer in my entire YouTube channel, right? So we'll, we'll take a deep dive over there as well. It's a very good tool to start with when it comes to cost with AWS. Managing your cloud finances with unified billing and management console. Again, one place, a consolidated place, you are seeing everything. So let's deep dive uh, into our first topic of this video, which is new cost and usage dashboard powered by AWS QuickSight. So it creates an export of your billing and management console data using SQL column section selections and row filters. So whatever we deployed as part of my last video, the kudos dashboard, cloud intelligence dashboard, right? Or the cost intelligence dashboard, as a matter of fact, if you remember, we deployed Athena, we deployed data catalog as part of glue crawler. Now, as part of this, particular dashboard or the tool you can say the new cost and usage dashboard you don't have to worry about creating Athena or maintaining glue services because here we are just maintaining the information within S3 and it is directly associated with your billing and management console which consists of your historical data as well plus the forecast right so uh, I will see if we, we can get a forecast or not because uh, even I haven't deployed it yet. So we'll be deploying it as part of the documentation. It's a straightforward process, but I'll show you how to do it. Now, as part of uh, data export, so there is a component that what they have added is uh, data export. You can also deploy usage dashboard powered by QuickSight directly from the billing and management console. I haven't seen the Terraform model because it's already it's it's been a launch hardly two weeks back. So we just have to wait for a Terraform model if you're, uh, uh, you know, love to do the coding part instead of going to the management console and do a one click deployment effort. So we, we just have to wait for a few more weeks, a month or so, so that we can also take it, take a look at a Terraform module of it as well. The cost and usage dashboard uses a summary view of cost and usage report 2.0, which is your CUR, and provides a pre-built visual to facilitate the interactive analysis and sharing of the cost insight with a broader stakeholder group. So you will be able to see what all components, what we are getting. So if you remember kudos, right? So it has a technical side of the house, plus the trends you can also see, like if uh, it will give you a sense of uh, responsibility that let's say if you're running GP2, then you have to convert GP2 to GP3 for the fast response. So those kind of an insight we will get with this 
new dashboard this is the link and i'll share this link uh, in the description section so if you want to go through line by line documentation please go through that uh, but it's a straightforward process just one thing you need uh, or actually two things s3 and quicksight quicksight is very important as part of a prerequisite how cost and usage dashboard is different from cloud intelligence dashboard solution what we deployed and discussed in my last video first easy to deploy secure and comes with a pre-built dashboard solution so you don't have to write a logic within your cloud formation template or a terraform module or a wrapper around cloud formation that this is the quick side these are the visuals that we have to create and all those stuff it is inspired by that project this is a, that's an open source uh, you know project what aws has created but it also includes the subset of those summary visuals without resource level views from kudos okay which is one of the six or seven dashboard now don't need to manage the underlying system like athena and glue crawler which what i mentioned and you can deploy the cost and usage dashboard from the data export page in the management console on this other hand when it comes to the cloud intelligence family you have to either as i mentioned like there are like four ways one is cloud formation man with the other one is manual way the third one is the ci cmd tool or the terraform module or as a wrapper around your cloud formation so obviously effort is needed over there since aws has already given you the templates but still you have to execute those templates right still time consuming as compared to the new dashboard so that's what uh, this video is all about like how you can uh, what exactly the new cost and usage dashboard is all about because I will be jumping into the demo section right away now that's the conceptual part or the theoretical part you can say what AWS has given during this reinvent so let's jump to our AWS management console so this is my AWS management console uh, as you can see I'm in the billing and cost management home the setup is very simple you just have to go to data export which comes under cost analysis click on that now as you can see i don't have anything i don't have even cur reports available for me okay so <clears throat> this is uh, powered by quicksight cost and usage dashboard click on this now this comes with three selections obviously the standard data export the cost and usage by quicksight and the legacy one obviously this will give you a raw data format stored in the s3 bucket so we'll use this one cost and usage by a uh, quick site. So let's uh, give this name as demo dashboard. As you can see, I already have a quick site account and this is my account name and uh, all those stuff. So I'm going with the default uh, namespace and everything username because I'll be disabling the quick site. So you, you guys, don't worry like you can use the same thing right because I'll be deleting it now the quick site username is my account ID I believe let's see it's in Virginia and here is the s3 bucket the data export storage setting enter the destination bucket for your data export to be stored okay so let's uh, configure it so you can create a new bucket or you can use the existing one so I'll use the existing one. Let's say demo QS maybe. Agree to override the policy. Select the bucket. Create a new service role and you can use the tag which is optional. Just click create. Uh, okay, the path is AWS. Good. This is the prefix basically. So click on create and that's it. You're done with this dashboard creation. So obviously it takes some time to show the data. One of the good part is this is already associated with the billing and management console. So you will be able to see at least the three months of data, previous uh, data. And obviously uh, to, it's December. So I, I will be able to see November data, then October and September as well. So as you can see, this is in progress. Now I can't show you the data as of now, but I'll promise that I'll be sharing the screenshots from the same dashboard, which I'll be getting it maybe tomorrow, somewhere around similar time. I leave it for 24 hours just to get uh, those sorts of data. Now this will take a bit of time. Now if I, if I click on uh, cost and usage dashboard, 
this will navigate me to my quick site and that's what you will see over here but like all the components you are getting the executive bill summary month on a month rent compute storage s3 so whatever uh, the default one they have deployed in the back end this is the first product as part of uh, this uh, reinvent that has been given to us this product will grow because that's the experience i have with aws from long years that once they initialize or given a product it will grow a lot so if you go to executive bill summary obviously i don't have any data as of now so it comes with three months of data two months of data and last month obviously so all sorts of data you are getting you are getting month on month trend and then the compute level resources what ec2 instances and everything storage s3 bucket so these are coming something similar to the kudos and the cost intelligence framework okay so i hope this clears a lot in terms of what exactly the cost and usage dashboard is all about so please give it a try you are not going to pay a lot of money so it's hardly i would say i was running uh, for one of my client which i recently proposed so i was running it for almost a week and i haven't paid more than you can say four or five dollar uh, again uh, i'm just calculating for a month so it will my, it might go up to 10 depend upon the storage that what you are you know you consuming plus obviously the quick site subscription is always there for the cost so give it a try place out a comment in comment section if you like this particular tool i'll be happy to answer any questions if you're uh, having any doubts and everything okay so see you in the next lecture have a nice day bye bye